Hi everyone, my name is Lyric. I'm a former member of Girls Inc. and I go to University of Louisville and I am 20 years old and today I'm showing how to do an abstract painting. So abstract art is the use of shapes, textures, colors to create an image that's not real or real looking. Um, just like how some people make portraits and things Abstract art is something that's just completely up to you. It doesn't have to look like anything and basically you can create whatever you want. So today I'm gonna to be having a plain piece of paper. You can have any sort of paper, but today I am using paint. So I'm using a more sturdier kind of paper, but anything could work. You can use any type of form of material. You can use color pencils, markers, crayons, anything you have. So basically I have a plate of different colors and then I have some black that I'm gonna be using later on. I'll show what I'm doing with that. So we're first gonna start out with just painting shapes. So I'm gonna choose a random color. I think I'm gonna go ahead and choose this purple right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make a big, well, not too big, but a circle. So I will show you. Okay, so I thought it'd be a lot better to show it this way. So as you see, the first thing I did was paint a circle. So everybody's gonna paint a circle anywhere on the painting you would like, but I put mine in the top portion of it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to choose another color. So I think I'm going to choose this beige type brown color. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make a triangle. And the thing about abstract is you can sort of, as you put different shapes and lines together, you can tell that it really makes a certain type of picture. So right now I'm sort of getting the feeling that this looks sort of like a moon and a mountain. So maybe that's gonna be what I'll try to go for. Or it can be up to whoever's looking at it. So once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and choose yet another color. This time, I think I am going to choose green, a shade of green. So I'm going ahead and making another shape right behind that one. After that, I'm going to go ahead and choose another color and I'm just going to start adding random shapes. Just random shapes along everything else. So I'll make another circle. And again, you can put this anywhere you want. Right now, we're just focusing on the shape aspect of it. Okay. And then one color that I absolutely love, I love oranges and abstract paintings. So if you have a certain color that's your favorite color and you really wanna use, I think you should take that and put it as many, use that color as as many shapes as you'd like. At that point, I'm gonna start using this black paint that I showed you in the beginning. So what we're gonna do is sort of make faces. Now, stay with me, because this is a sort of a little more difficult than the rest. So, here's the painting. And we're gonna take our black paint and a little angled brush or any type of small brush you have. We're gonna dip it in there. 
If you know any abstract artists, a lot of them put faces, but in very strange ways that don't look real. So that's what we're gonna do, sort of like a doodle. So I guess I'm gonna put one right in the middle. So I'm gonna start with eyes, make one continuous line. Looks weird, right? So we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna connect that line and go down and make a weird nose. And the fun thing about this is it doesn't have to look accurate. Some people get very frustrated when they're drawing faces, but with this, it can look as like wonky and messed up as you'd like. So then I'd go down and make a mouth. And then go all the way around. Looks a little weird. We can go back and like touch it up. There we go. So that's one of the faces. We can keep going. I can put one here. And then you keep going. So after that, I'm just putting like the final finishing touches. And there we go. After that, you'll sign your name at the bottom right hand corner and then there we go it's all done so thank you everyone i hope everyone's staying safe and having fun